for daily ask reddit non-us citizens of reddit what do your schools teach you about the united states in india all they taught me about usa was usa was discovered in search of india by christopher columbus indian here that's exactly the only thing i learned in school in geography i think they talk about rockers for a line or two German here. In history class the US is really only mentioned in context of the world wars or the cold war, and even then the focus is on their involvements with Europe and Germany in particular. Apart from that, the discovery and maybe a footnote about the revolutionary war, the US barely appears, though I didn't further pursue history in my high school years, so maybe more is taught there. In English class the civil rights movement and the American dream are popular themes to center debates around in high school, but overall there is a much greater focus on Great Britain and their former territories. This is what I remember, and it's a bit wordy, but maybe you'd be interested. From the Philippines here. Manifest destiny, not a lot of discussion. Spanish-American and eventual Philippine-American war, they promised us independence and liberation from the Spanish to fight with them in the Spanish-American war. When the Philippines declared independence they fought a war to keep the Philippines. Filipino-American War, because they had purchased us through the Treaty of Paris. They brought in the first American teachers, called Thomasitz for the, the ship they came on Iike. WW2, they held out for a few months with our Filipino soldiers, and were also in the Baton Death March. General. MacArthur made and kept a promise to return, and liberate us, and upon Japan's surrender they gave us independence. We were a commonwealth at the time. Asterisk asterisk. Fun fact. July 4th is Filipino-American Friendship Day, Aka, Philippine, Republic Day. I didn't do history in 11 or 12, so really ground level shit. The US exists. Washington was this guy. They got independence from the UK. The Oregon Trail had all the dysentery. WW1, 2, and Vietnam happened. JFK was a dude. Armstrong went on a road trip for a few days. Those cowboy and Indian movies, those Indians were probably not treated super well. It wasn't, realistically, until the internet and facts on demand, that my history knowledge increased. Now I know it was Armstrong and Buzz and Collins on that road trip. Chinese mainland are here. A lot, though most of these were covered in very general terms. How much you needed to learn also depended on whether you choose arts and humanities or science for university entrance exam. My Chinese high school education stopped after 10th grade so these are not all. But from my memories, we learned about Columbus discovery, Mayflower and Protestants, Boston Tea Party and the founding of US, American Civil War, and then the Great Depression and Roosevelt's New Deal. U.S is also mentioned, but not mainly discussed when learning about the colonialization of parts of China points especially their military involvement during the Boxer Revolution, and then the World War II, forming of United Nations, Korean Wars and briefly about Cold War. Also, we needed to learn about Nixon, because of the ping-pong diplomacy between him and Mao. In politics class we also needed to learn about the division of power in us constitution. Honestly, not a lot. The 1776 revolution is like an intro to our massive chapter about the French Revolution. And that's pretty much it. I mean we learn about the world wars and the cold war, but we never learnt about the civil war and stuff. I live in France, and in history slash geography class, which are taught by a single teacher. They mainly teach us about three things related to the USA. The big battles of the USA during WW2, Pearl Harbor, Midway, and June 6, 1944, Total War, ETC. They also teach about the Americanization of the world, hard and soft power, globalization, ETC, and the Cold War slash Middle East era. And in English class we learn about more cultural and sometimes political stuff related either mostly on US or on England depending on the teacher. The problem is that the teachers are often from left political views and assume it's the obviously right way 